Welcome to the Click Dealer tutorial on ad vehicles and advertising them. So let's start by clicking on stock and ad vehicles. Enter the registration number of your vehicle on the left hand box and then click DBA lookup. It comes back with the information. If it doesn't, you need to click on the right hand box enter the registration number again and once that's select the make of the car and when that has done click on manual vehicle entry that will take us back to the same screen as we would be in DBLA lookup let's click that now and here we are if it hasn't brought any information back it, will, it won't bring the make model the variant or any of the information at the bottom so fill as much information as you can for that car. But he has found this car, so there we go. Reg letter. That's incorrect, isn't it? It's brought a first letter there, which is a private plate. So let's change it to the correct reg letter. We've got a reg date on the right, so we can know what it is. The only other pieces of information we need to enter is the mileage of the car. You can have an advert mileage and an actual mileage. So let's click on the advert mileage and enter that. And then click on the actual mileage. And that is it for the information we re require for this screen. So we just add vehicle. If you do need to change any information on this screen, you can do, and then you can just click Update Vehicle, and that will be done. But now we need to advertise the vehicle now, so let's click on Show in Work List, and there's the work list, and your car is highlighted in green. There's red boxes on the right hand section, and all these need to be changed to white for it to be advertised correctly. So the first box is the price box, so let's click on that. So enter the price or the selling price of the car in the top box. And also enter it into the second box as well. As you can see there's other prices you can have for different advertisers. We can set that up for you, but trading standards are frowning on various prices for different adverts but for now click save and update saved and click the X to close the next box we're going to click on is groups and what groups does the car belong to it uh, can be as many or as few as you like but this can be obviously a source of your people to look at on the when you look on the internet so it's a diesel small and we'll put sports as well and once you're happy with that you just press the X button change to white again and now we're clicking on the images section so every car needs an image so if you haven't got the car yet just click on the awaiting prep car we can set that up to whatever you require so there we go but now the cars come in and we need to we took some photos so let's click on upload the images and then we need to select the images that we've took once you've sort of found them in the right directory mine's already set up just highlight them or control a if there's only one car and do that and open there you can see the, all the images that are going to go up and just click upload chosen images and there we go but now we've got an awaiting prep car picture that we don't need so let's click on the X button to delete it and we'll confirm the deletion can drag and drop 
any of these photos to put them into a different order if you require. So let's try that now. And there we go. And then just save that new image order. And there you go, it's all sorted there for you. Once you're happy with it, you can finish with that section. You can just click the back button, which will take you back to the work list. Next, we're on to the advert stock or the advert spec section. This is one where it's the main interest of your advert, so spend some time with this. You have Attention Grabber and Auto Trader KSP, which are purely for the Auto Trader. The Attention Grabber is like the subtitle under the main description there. So enter something that would sell that car and would interest your customers. There we go, and click on the KSP. As you see, this car has only got 12 characters because it goes on to the end of the description. So we can only put a very short little sentence there. The web KSP is for your advert on your internet and can be as many characters as you require. What we're going to do here though is just copy and paste the auto trader one and the KSP. Copy and paste. Don't forget to put the extra space in there. Next boxes we've got our key information boxes. What sells that car to you? What information would you like your customers to see first? You can fill these in or not, but it's a good idea. You could have them as bullet points on your internet site. So let's put some information in these. Or leather. Full service history is obviously a very a good one for them. And alloy wheels. I'm only going to fill four in. You can put, like I said, fill as many or as little least as you like. We've got a finally anything else box. You should be familiar with Auto Trader. That's that. And you've got a thousand characters to fill whatever you like, just free type. These are pulled back from the glasses code. If you like them, that's fine. If you don't, click on that button. Uh, oh dear, I've made a mistake. Let's click on show all and use all and we're back. So there's no harm in doing that if you make a mistake. You can also add a dealer strap line. That could be information about your company, family run business for 10 years or whatever. Call, click dealer and we can help you set that up and so that it's on the bottom of your, your adverts. Click save changes when you're happy with that. Let's have a look at the Auto Trader preview to see what we've actually done. There on the right is the KSP we've added, and that's the attention grabber. And as you can see, there's the sat nav full leather at the front of the advert. If you want to actually see the detail view, we can actually do that as well. And there we go. And click down. Once you're happy with that, you can close that and then return to the work list. We've got one extra box, which is the eBay box. If you're not an eBay customer, that won't show up, so don't worry too much. Clicking on eBay brings us this advert. eBay always brings us back the make of the car. We need to select the model. You can see the model there, 118. So select that and click save. Brought back the subtitle already in, which is that web KSP. If you like that, just leave it alone. 
You can change any options you like. In fact, I'm going to take the brake horsepower out. And then I'm going to change the 2D to two doors. And I'm also going to add the colour of the car. But you can change it as much as you want. Don't forget to click save on every time. If you're a Gumtree advertiser, you can just click on that and we can help you set that up again for you. Once you're happy with that, just click on the X. We do have two other columns. One of them is entitled Cars. And we, if you have a van to sell, you need to change that to LCV. But if you're LCV and you're changing a car, I always make sure it's selling the right, correct one. So let's put it back to cars and save and update. It's as simple as that. The last one we've got is the default. Now that is just uh, we'll be advertising that. We can change that to always or never. Always if we sold the car or archived it, it will still advertise that car on your website. But we'll just leave it as default at the moment. And that is the end of the tutorial. It will now be advertised correctly. To see how to delete a car, go to the next tutorial. Thank you very much.